classification of phylum Echinodermata. Phylum Echinodermata is divided into two subphyla. Subphylum 1, Palmatozoa. Subphylum 2, Eleutherozoa. Subphylum, Palmatozoa. Oral surface is upward. Anus is present on the oral surface. Madriporite is absent. Ambulacral grooves are open. Plamatozoa includes only one class, Crinodia. Class Crinodia. Consist of sea lilies and feather stars. Sea lilies are sessile and are attached to the substratum by a long stalk. Stalk is attached to substratum by cirri. Feather stars are free swimming. Stalk is absent. Cirri are present. Arms are bifurcated and bear pinnately arranged pinnules. Central disc is small and is enclosed in an aboral calcified cup called calyx and a membranous oral wall called tagmen. Spines and pedicillary are absent. Tube feet lack suckers. Development includes dolularia larva, free swimming ciliated larva of crinoids. In feather star, a stalked sessile pentacrinoid larval stage is present. Pentacrinoid larva resembles a stalked extinct crinoid called pentacrinoids. Example Antidon neometra feather stars. Tilocrinus, sea lily with cirri. Batichrinus, sea lily without cirri. Subphylum, Elethrozoa. These are free living echinoderms. Elethrozoa includes four classes Class 1, Asteroidea. Class 2, Ophirodia. Class 3, Echinodia. Class 4, Holothurodia. Class Asteroidea consists of starfishes or sea stars. Arms are broad at their base and are not clearly demarcated from the central disc. Pedicillary are two jawed, pincer like modified spines used in capturing small animals. Madriporite is present and a boral surface. Each ambulacral groove bears two or four rows of tube feet.